hello youtube and welcome to another virtualization tutorial so in this video i'm going to show you how to install android on esxi host so are you ready let's get started so as you may know android is a very popular and prolific operating system used mainly for mobile devices and also tablet and tv sets okay so you may say what is actually the advantage of actually installing android on a computer but in some cases for example if you are developing application for mobile devices you may want to test it in this environment okay so here i'm gonna actually download android okay and install it in our vmware esxi host okay so first thing first you have to go to the site here android-x86.org slash download in order to download the version of android you want okay so here i'm gonna click on this link and here you see the different versions for the different platforms actually for uh, 64 bits and also 32 bits iso file so you can download whatever version you want so me i will download just this one 32 bits it's about actually 726 megabytes okay and also the version is 9.0-r2 okay so i already downloaded this version as you can see here on my computer okay so next we're gonna connect to our uh, e sxi host okay and upload it to our data store okay so first thing first let's go to our uh, esxi host let me log on i will use of course my credentials here here we go let me log on So as I told you, the first step is actually to upload our uh, ISO file to the data store. So here you can see I have data store one. Okay. So I'm gonna browse this data store and created actually a folder called ISO where I upload all the ISO I want. Okay. So I will click on this upload button here and I will go to my download folder then I will choose Android version 9.0 so I will open it and as you can see now the file is being uploaded to the data store so after this uh, step has finished we're gonna actually create a virtual machine in our ESXi host okay so let's wait for the upload to finish okay now the upload has been finished so i can close this window here so now i'm gonna actually create a virtual machine so i will go to virtual machines then i will click on create or register vm okay so i will here create a new virtual machine so i will go next for the name let's enter android 9 for example and from the compatibility mode you can choose whatever version of ESXi host that you want to be compatible with for the guest OS family as you may know Android is based on Linux so I'll choose Linux here and for the guest OS version I will choose just uh, 32 bits so let's uh, for example choose other Linux 32 bits okay so i will go here next and of course here i will select the storage so by default i have only one so i'll choose this data storage here here we go 
Now for the settings, so I guess one CPU is enough. For the memory, I will go with uh, two gigabytes. Here we go, two gigabytes. Reservation mine, limit nine, or actually unlimited. For the hard disk, I will choose eight gigabyte for our hard disk, okay? And the most important thing is for the CD or DVD drive. So I will choose a data store ISO file. Then here I have actually to select the file that we have actually uploaded so as you can see here on my data store it's this one android version 9.0 so i will select it and make sure actually it's connected as you can see here okay so i will go next and here actually it's a summary of all what we have done okay I guess everything is okay. I have one virtual CPU, two gigabytes of RAM. I have actually also one network adapter and the most important thing also for the hard disk, I have chosen eight gigabytes. So I will click on finish. So now the Android VM has been created. So let's click on it and let's actually power on. Okay, so let's power on and see what we get. Okay, so here you can see that they have a menu that actually I must choose the option for the installation. Okay, so I can navigate with my up and down keys. So I'll choose installation install Android 86 to hard disk. I will hit enter. Here we go. For here, for this uh, choose partition, uh, we're gonna actually create or modify partitions. Okay. So I'm gonna click on the capital C on my keyboard and I will hit OK. Here we go. Do you want to use GPT? So I will choose no. Okay. And this is the CF disk utility which help us actually to create the partition. Okay. So I'm gonna choose. So I always use my up and down or left on the right keys on my keyboard. So I will choose new because I want to create a new partition. Here we go. And this partition actually is a primary one. So I'll choose primary, not logical. Here we go. For the size, I will choose the whole size. Here we go. And one of the most important thing that you must mark it as a bootable. So you're gonna actually uh, choose bootable and hit enter. Here we go. So you can see the flag has been changed to actually boot. Then finally, we choose write to write all the changes that we have done to the disk. Okay, so here the final question, are you sure you want to write the partition table to disk? Of course, yes. Here we go, write in uh, partition to disk. Okay, now we have finished. All we have to do is to choose quit. Here we go. Now you can see that now I have a partition. Okay, so I'll just choose this partition here, which has eight gigabytes as a size and I will hit OK. And for the file system that we want to choose, we'll choose the default one, which is extended for. Okay, here we go. Are you sure you want to format uh, the partition SD1? Of course we want to format it. Yes. Here we go. The partition now is being formatted. Now 
so after that we want to install the bootloader of course we want to install a bootloader group I will choose yes do you want to install the system directory as a read write of course yes okay so now the system has been or is being installed actually to the desk so all we have to do is to wait but as we have just 8 gigabytes of uh, hard disk space it will not take a lot of time okay now we have uh, actually Android is installed successfully so we can run Android or reboot so let's run it actually okay here it will gives us just the actually the command prompt so actually let's reboot this machine here we go in order to get our group so this is the group load manager okay so here you can see that you have different option you have debug mode debug no mode sets and actually another mode so for the actually the android to start up we have to choose the first option here and at the bottom you can see press enter to boot the selected os okay or e to edit the command before boot booting so actually we're gonna choose or actually we're gonna click the e button on our keyboard in order to edit the commands okay so let's hit the e key in our keyboard here we go so you can see here that now i can modify actually the commands so i will choose the first option and i will hit once again the e key here we go so now all you have to do is to replace this quite here command by another command so i will delete this quite and i will replace it by no no mod set okay no mod set x force v e s a okay so let's now uh, press B to boot here we go as you can see now Android is booting with the graphical user interface So here you can choose English for United States and you can start for the Wi-Fi if you have actually connected a USB Wi-Fi card to your uh, VMware ESXi host you can use it or you can just try to see all Wi-Fi networks here and by default this virtual Wi-Fi is connected to the network card okay but you can skip that for further uh, installation okay of course after setting up the date and time you can just accept and I will choose not now
and here we go as you can see we have successfully installed Android on our ESXi host machine okay so everything is working here we have the applications and uh, different options that you can configure later on your environment okay so otherwise I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing bye bye